Hey guys, it's Dave again. Welcome back to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back to the channel where sanity and chaos reign supreme. So welcome back. We got a bit of a video for you guys today. Nothing too long, nothing too crazy. Got a couple unboxings now. Uh, just did a couple unboxing videos yesterday. Uh, we went over uh, Power Ranger Lightning Collection, uh, Green Ranger, and Z Putty separate separate items. We unbox those those two together in a major big video um, and we also unboxed a few uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Funkos today we're going to do again some more retro Funkos so to speak um, if you're a fan of the 80s and a fan of Bill Murray um, you might have heard a movie called Stripes okay Stripes was kind of a well it's a it's an bit of an action comedy so to speak okay it's about these two guys who are kind of down on their luck and they decide to enlist in the military in the army now of course this is back in the 80s and uh, you know they figure okay I'll go in I need something to do with my life Bill Murray's a bit of, bit of a guy who's down on his luck Here's the Bill Murray Funko. I got him several months back. Um, this is... Well, I got him for several things. One, I love the movie Stripes. Two, I love Bill Murray. And three, this always reminds me of my dad. <laughs> he always loved the movie Stripes. He loves army movies in general. So it's, an, it's a nice thing that every time I see this, I you know I think of my dad a little bit. And I think about the great movie Stripes. Is. Now, Stripes... If you ask the average person, is not a cinematic masterpiece, but it's fun. It's well written. It co it has Bill Murray. It co-stars Harold Ramis. I mean, it's just an overall great film. You got John Candy in there, uh, John Larroquette from uh, best known from Night Court. Um, I mean, you got a lot of amazing talents in it, uh, and it's it's just a great movie. It's good. It has a bunch of laughs. It's not for the kids because there is some very coarse language and imagery in the movie. So it's not really great for the kids. Uh, the ones I got today are, I actually got these at my local Walmart. Now, they had him. They had John Winger at Walmart for months and months ago. And they my Walmart here in uh, Buffalo, New York, or I should say Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, New York, Finally got the Harold Ramis character, Russell, and the John Candy character, Oxberger. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over these in just a few moments. We're going to unbox them, and I'll go into more detail. Uh, Harold Ramis was always, I mean, he was kind of the straight guy, but he also had some funny lines in there, too. Um, but, I mean, it's, you know, these are some favorites. These, this reminds me of my childhood. You know, watching watching movies because I'm of course I'm 42, so I grew up in the 80s, the 80s and 90s are my core. So I when I saw these, I was like, you know what? I have to get them both. I just have to. Uh, I had to get the Ox Burger be, uh, Ox here, the John Candy one, because uh, when I was a little bit bigger, obviously, and also a few years back, I had a friend who would always call me Ox Burger, so I had to get that one. Uh, but we're going to jump into this in just a few moments. So, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do the unbox here. We're going to start off with Harold Ramis' character, Rus Russell Ziski. Okay, now in the beginning of the movie, in case you haven't seen the movie, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown. It's not too spoilery. He's actually an English teacher. English as a second language. So he's actually teaching a lot of... Uh, a lot of people who have j just recently immigrated to America who really do not know the language whatsoever. And he is, you know, he's trying to teach them. And of course, they're really not catching on. It's just this whole thing. So, um, his best friend, John, played by Bill Murray, uh, he gets fired. He, his girlfriend walks out on him. And he's, like, obviously no money, so he's going to lose his apartment. So he's got nothing going for him. So he talks to his best friend, Russell, to go ahead and the both are going to sign up to join the army. 
they really have nothing going on in their lives, so this is what they do to, you know, make something of themselves. And of course, they enlist, and they're, you know, Bill Murray, if, if you're familiar with any of his movies, which he should be, he's very sarcastic, very cynical, he's got a smart mouth, and of course, it gets him in trouble with the drill sergeant, and there's just a bunch of hilarity, and of course, throughout the movie, they find themselves in these impossible situations, and it's, if you ever watched any of the Police Academy movies. It's not as slapstick as that, but it has that kind of losers that somehow rise above everything else and save the day kind of kind, kind of just to it. It's just an amazing movie, at least in my, my eyes. So let's open this up. Now, anyone who's seen this channel before, you know I am not an inbox. I am what's called a out-of-box collector. Now, if you notice, there is a different variation of John Ringer. Or winger. I always say ringer for some reason. Uh, the one I have is him with his gun and cap on backwards, which takes place, uh, in, I'd say, kind of the middle of the movie. Uh, this is one where he's holding his gun and he's pointing at you. That's a little reference to something else that happens in the movie. And, of course, we have Russell here that we're going to unbox. And then we have Ox. Oxburger, as he's known as in the movie. So let's open this up. <clears throat> now, if you open up a Funko before, you know there's not really a whole hell lot to it. There's no papers, no legal jargons here. The only legal rig rigmarole is right at the bottom here. This is, we have Russell right here. He's holding a form. Again, you see the same imagery right here. This is Funko 990, Funko Pop Movies Edition, Stripes. And that's what you really have here. I mean, there's not much more to it than that, guys. <clears throat> we have Vinyl Figure, and then, of course, set it in the other languages. I'm not going to go through it. It's pretty basic, guys. So, now, here we go. There we go. And there he is. Okay. Now, of course, he's holding up some, uh, in this scene, he's actually holding some documents here. Because at one point, him and his platoon are actually assigned to protect a new experimental vehicle. And these are the instructions for it. So it's a nice little, nice little uh, nod to the movie itself. And you wouldn't think, just by the looks of this, you wouldn't think that this is Harold Ramis. I mean, most people, the only Funkos of Harold Ramis I have seen have been the Ghostbusters, Egon Spangler. And obviously, he looks much different than Egon in here. Different glasses, different hairstyle, different look. But what's ironic is if you look at Bill Murray's Funko, you could tell that that's supposed to be Bill Murray. Believe it or not, I know it's a little crazy. Now, as far as quality control in here, comparing to the John Winger, um, this one looks a little bit darker and a little bit more shinier, whereas this is more of a flat olive drab here. <clears throat> but it looks good here. I mean, you know, for Funko, you don't expect a whole lot. We have the tread of the boots here, which is, again, repeated uh, on the Bill Murray John Winger. So we have the boots there. And we're going to stand them up. Now, this my desk is not a very stable desk or table. We're going to do the pound test. I knocked my keyboard down, but I did not knock the Funko. So, that shows us this Funko is actually pretty stable. I've come across a few that are top-heavy that will tip and move. You know, that they're not the most balanced, but... Uh, this is turning out much more balanced. I I have to say personally, I think Funko is doing a better job making their uh, pops because uh, just yesterday I got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle retro Funkos, which are designed to be based off of the movie, and they as well. They were very sturdy. I've had a lot. I've had quite a few Funko Funkos where. Either I have to have a stand for them to hold up properly, 
or maybe position them against some other object to keep them up straight. But they definitely have improved. I mean, between the Ninja Turtles, which I'll pull out here. I mean, these guys are pretty stable right on their own. I mean, the Turtles, they do have a little bit of a, a crevice here. A little bit of a cavity. Maybe that cavity is helping the feet. Because, again, we have a cavity here for the boots here. So maybe that, that cavity in the, in the bottom of the feet are helping in some shape or form. Um, that's a possibility. And of course the Funkos, all the Funkos are pretty much, pretty much same size. You know, it's just a hair that's giving him a little bit more. So there we are, we have Russell. So let's move on to Oxburger. That's his character's name in the movie. His name is Oxburger, but everyone calls him Ox. Okay, vinyl figure, Funko Pops, movie collection, stripes, 991. Again, that is 991. So we have imagery of the Funko right here. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, that that is women's clothing that he's holding in his hands. And yes, he is covered in dirt and mud. If you haven't seen the movie, you can draw your own conclusions from there, guys. Uh, again, this is a character that is featured throughout the movie. It's not the brightest bulb in the box, but he's loyal. He's there when you need him. He's definitely good for a fight. And obviously, this is taken from a scene in the movie. I am not going to spoil that for you guys. So, if you haven't seen Stripes, I highly recommend you do. Again, it's not a kid's movie due to the language and some of the craziness that ensues in the movie. So, right out of the box. And they really did a great detail on his clothing. I mean, this really looks like he's covered it in dirt and mud. There's almost a texture to it. Well, not not to the touch, but it definitely textured as far as the look here. The arms, I mean, the arms almost look like they're supposed to move. But, I, no, they don't. The arm, I mean, right here, if you guys can see that, it really looks like it's supposed to move there. And they did an amazing job. I mean, if you run your finger across his face here... You can feel that, okay, this is this is clear and this is painted on as an additional texture. Um, so he is covered in mud. He's screaming like bloody murder. <laughs> Obviously, he's got mud in his hair. They did a good job with that. You know, I mean, you can see spots around his mouth. Just like if you were covered in mud, not every spot on your face would be covered. You got a few wrinkles of the forehead, a little... Dark spot of additional blood right there, or not blood, but mud. Uh, you know, a little bit of mud missing from here, but he's got a few spots right there. I mean, this is just a great, I mean, you know, give John, you know, John Candy back in the 80s, give him a crew cut, and this is pretty much him. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is great. So now I have these three, and yes, he, he's stable for the most part this is a little bit more flat um you can see when i put him down here he kind of wobbles just a little bit but then he settles down so we got the three right there so we're going to do like i do with all my phone calls we're going to do the pound test guys the pound test to create as much vibrations on the desk as possible Gonna toss that and follow that box somewhere. Somewhere in a circular file. So let's go. He moves, he wobbles a little bit, but he's still standing, guys. There we go. Again, Funko is doing very well. There's no boot or sneaker kind of tread like we do on the other guys. It's just a foot. And this is a less of a cavity here, but still a cavity nonetheless. We got some legal jargon here. Funko LLC 2020 
right at his feet. And there we are. There we have the unbox of Russell and Ox from Stripes. Let's go ahead and check back for my final thoughts. Okay, so we're back. So my final thoughts are this. If you're a fan of 80s movies and you had really great movies or uh, really great memories of Stripes, you have to get these. Now, I got these for about $8.90, you know, between 8 and $9 for Funkos at Walmart. So it was a no-brainer. I mean, between the Ox, Oxburger himself, I mean, this looks, this, John Candy from the film, they captured him in this. And I loved how stable the Funko figures are now. Uh, you heard me just mention about their feet and how some of them are a little top-heavy. You know, they kind of fall down, especially the uh, bobbleheads, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, because, you know, they're kind of disproportional. Or I shouldn't say disproportional, I should say a little top-heavy. Or maybe they're leaning more towards forward or backwards or left or right. And that can shift the weight of it. Uh, the Harold Ramis Rus Russell, this was just awesome. And I love how they put in the text and they try to recreate the actual manual of the assault vehicle that they're supposed to guard in the movie so I really love that I mean I think they did a really great job uh, this gives because I mean really Harold Ramis was not in that that many movies he directed wrote and co-produced a lot of movies uh, but he didn't really act in all that many just a few so it's good to get him as a Funko other than uh, Egon Spangler which I mean he's always going to be remembered as Egon Spangler and, I mean, he was a great director, just an amazing creative talent. So, it's cool that they did this. Um, one thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is the eyeglass arms. They're at an angle, but his glasses are perfectly leveled on his face. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, that's perfectly fine. I'm cool with it. Are you cool with it? Um, the hair, it could have been a bit darker i mean this doesn't look brown it doesn't look black this looks more charcoal i don't know if that comes off exactly how i'm seeing it uh, but that's one thing that kind of uh you know brings it down but uh yeah those are my thoughts so they're definitely uh I, for me it's it's a home run it's right out of the park uh, what are your guys' thoughts on them? Do you think that they are? Do you think this is just some, you know, 80s niche kind of a thing? Or is this something that you guys want to jump on as well? If you do, you can go to your local Walmart. I believe these are Walmart exclusives. I have not seen these Funkos anywhere else. Not at GameStop. Not at Target. Not anywhere else so far. At least so far. I haven't checked Hot Topic. Uh, sometimes Hot Topic has pretty good deals. Uh, right now, uh, for the holidays, in fact, GameStop is doing, I believe, 3 for 25. But they have to be all the same size. So you can't get, like, one big massive one and then two small ones. You have to get all the same size. So it's still some good deals going on. Uh, if you have a local GameStop near you, I am not paid nor promoted by GameStop. I happen to be there. I saw the deal, so I'm passing it on to you guys. So, that's all I have for this video, guys. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Smash that bell. So, you can follow us for more videos. We have more videos coming up through the chain. Try and keep things as, as, uh, as progressive as possible. But, again, as always, if you guys have comments, questions, or queries, check out the that description for the video below. You're going to see an email address. You can email me for any questions or criticisms you might have about the, the channel or this video. And please, as always, leave some comments in the section below so I know what you guys' thoughts were about this. And, you know, if, like I say, if you have some thoughts, maybe some suggestions for on what I should do for future videos, please drop that in the comments section below or hit me up on the email address, okay? So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side.